All right, we're back with a few more sales. I think we have nine sales today, four hundred and eighteen dollars. Uh, so we'll get pulling those. Uh, let's see. So somebody was asking about a uh, skew field where we put those in, and that's what we use to keep track of our inventory. So I know it's going to look bad, but it won't take long here. There's a uh, here's your photos when you go in to make a new listing. You got your photos. You got your title subtitle and then right under that you should have custom label skew if you don't have that option um, over here you see title options you could click that and then there's a toggle for custom skew i never use subtitles so i should probably actually just toggle that off and then i don't have to look at it but anyway and then there's also a bold title option so you got three options there but that's how you turn on custom skew and that's how we keep track of uh, where we store everything. Some people don't do it that way and they like store like items together, I guess. I don't know, I'd probably lose, I'd lose too much stuff if I did that. So we're just gonna keep doing it this way. Uh, let's see, can I get this from here? We have a shirt, number seven. A super old shirt. This is like one of the first few pieces of clothing that I picked up. Uh, Freaky by Nature. It's a Muppets shirt. Um, extra large. And that sold for $8.49. Plus shipping. Yeah. Let's see. CDs. We got 3051 Okay. Let's see. That'll be a new one here. A newly listed one. This one. Yep. Uh, $30.51. There's a rock set room service. Uh, and that one was, oh, that one was eight bucks. Okay. 25, 36. Oh, I should have stayed over there. Just, I'll just walk around in circles, I guess. Oh, so close. 25, 36. Uh, Christmas present. Bonnie James, Bonnie James. Probably bone, I don't know. That sold for five dollars. Planning for Christmas already, I guess. B5. Let's see if I can get the right one of these. Last, last time I pulled one, I'm gonna set this down for a second. Last time I pulled the one out, and then we had to switch it because I'd grabbed the wrong one on camera. So it is a Oh, this one should be. I think I only have one of these though. A wall, W H A L. It's a trimmer power cord. It's like a hair clipper power cord. The last one that I had several types of was these uh, Uniden phone chargers. They still have several of them. But yeah, I grabbed the wrong one last time and then switched it out before we shipped it. So if you ever notice me pull something wrong and you think I'm going to ship something out wrong, I mean there's a chance that I might, but we usually double check if it's questionable. A3310, that's the one, we'll just leave that bin there, there's a, yeah just a replacement charger for a, um, I don't know if it's for like a a razor, like a shaver, or for a head hair trimmer. Uh, so, sorry, so for six dollars plus shipping. Uh, Twelve oh seven. Sometimes it's hard to talk and video at the same time. Not uh, not good at multitasking like that, I guess. The best of extreme in stereo. Uh, six dollars. And then we got a hat. 
they asked if I'd take $10 on it. And then I said, sure, send me an offer. Because I was on my phone. And for some reason, I can't send offers through messages on my phone. And they never sent the offer, so I finally got around to get into a computer. And I sent the offer. And then they finally paid for it. And I don't want which one. Okay, well that took a second to get through, but there it is. Uh, it's got a Germany patch on the front there, it is peeling off. Uh, if you can see that, I don't know, but it's peeling off on one side there. Got the gold leaves, or the eggs, as some people call them. It's in pretty nice shape actually, but we accepted a, took an offer of 10 bucks. So, uh, it's alright, as you can see I have a couple hats, so I need to probably just reevaluate my pricing on most of them. And back over here, I think, is this the last one? No, okay, got a couple more. Uh, 2731. Uh, I didn't put the bin back, now it's in my way. That's what I get, I guess. 2731. It's a BRMC, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. Okay. Self-titled, I guess, there. That sold for... <laughs> Whew, almost dropped my phone. Uh, five dollars. Okay, and then we have a lot of ties. This whole box is just full of them. I don't remember how many. Did I put how many was in there? Uh, fifty-five. Just fifty-five ties. Most of them are just regular neckties, I guess, and then some. Uh, a couple clip-ons, and I think there's like one bow tie. So. Just a box full of ties there. I tried to auction it off, so I guess there's probably nothing really crazy amazing in there because nobody bid on it. But that sold for $14.24 plus shipping. And $28.85. Here we go. Oops. Ooh, numbers can be hard. $28. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope, there we go. It's uh, Phillips Craig and Dean, the Ultimate Collection. That sold for five bucks plus shipping. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, that should be it. Hey, Gideon. Yeah, going to run to the post office in a few minutes. All right, so we had $118.73 in sales. Um, looks like $24.34 was in fees and taxes. It was $45 to ship. Um, like almost a third of that shipping was those ties. I didn't charge quite enough on that one. But that's all right. Uh, and then cost of goods, about $10, 10 and a half bucks. And then shipping material, $1.63. So our total profit was $37.50. So not too bad. I mean, not great. Not as good as the last couple times uh, I did the breakdown. But $10.35 into $37.50. Um, or 118 in sales down to 37.50. We'll go with the 10 into 37.50. That sounds better. We quadrupled our money. So that's uh, yeah, that's what we have for today. And that was our breakdown of all the sales. And we'll see you next time.